once chewed the bark of willow trees to relieve pain, but now that active ingredient is formulated into aspirin. The bark of hazel trees, including golden hazel and witch hazel, is used to treat skin irritation. The flowers from hops have been used for a variety of medicinal purposes, including to soothe earaches. You can learn more about the medicinal properties of plants in the new outdoor healing garden at the Buffalo and Erie County Botanical Gardens. Planning and preparation took four years, and the garden was dedicated September 13, 2015, by representatives of the Botanical Gardens, Duville College School of Pharmacy, and Mercy Hospital of Buffalo, part of Catholic Health. The garden was planted as part of Plant Western New York's 2014 Leaf a Legacy Project, where local landscapers volunteer to give a facelift to a public space. The signage in the garden helps visitors learn how the plants are used, but the healing garden is also a place for spiritual healing, meditation, and reflection. Here's Marlo Wagner, who designed the outdoor healing garden as well as the botanical garden's indoor medicinal garden. What I'm looking for is for people to realize how many plants in our area have medicinal properties and uh, to be curious about how to learn more about finding alternative medicines for the most common ailments. Let's hear about a couple more medicinal plants. Hi, my name is Tim Hutcherson. I'm the director of the Drug Information Center at Duval College and clinical assistant professor. Um, it is the flu season. Usually that starts up uh, in September and goes throughout uh, early spring. But part of that, people have used echinacea for years as a treatment for, um, for viruses and flu-like symptoms. And they, as you see behind me, is a, a flowering plant, a cone flower on the top. It, um, the plant itself can uh, be used to uh, reduce flu-like symptoms. It does have some evidence to support its use uh, that will reduce the duration and the severity of flu-like symptoms in individuals who do uh, use it. But there are some reasons not to use it, and that's the same with any other type of medicinal plant. Is, and just like any medicinal for that matter, is that there's always some positive aspects to it, but there can de definitely be some negative aspects or side effects. I am uh, Christopher Jaddock. I'm a uh, assistant professor at the Duville College School of Pharmacy and I uh, was uh, actually involved in the development of the uh, medicinal garden uh, program here at uh, the Botanical Gardens. Well, foxglove is a, it's a number of varieties of digitalis. Uh, they're very beautiful uh, trumpets of flowers, and uh, the digitalis actually is derived to make a, a very potent cardiac medication called digoxin, a uh, brand name for many years was lanoxin, and it helps increase the, uh, the strength and the pumping of the heart and uh, it's very, uh, has been very useful for many years. Now in the garden, although it looks beautiful, it can be very toxic. So those who have it in the garden, you should protect it from uh, um, children um, and uh, certainly pets because it can be very toxic to them as well. Now a closing thought on the importance of plants in medicine. The next blockbuster drug may still be uh, out uh, in a garden somewhere, not necessarily in the Amazon, it could be here locally.